Hey, heathens. February the 12th is Charles Darwin's birthday. This year he would have been 199 years old. Of course, if biblical time was still around, then he would have lived that long because you would have lived eight to 900 years, according to them. So I figured it was time to celebrate, right? So I was like, how would I celebrate Darwin Day? Every year, the scientific community gets together with a lot of religious leaders to try and bridge the gap between science and religion. And that's happening now. I'm going to put a link up for you guys. Uh, over there? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put a link over there so you guys can check it out for t talking about how it is. And this is growing. Now, the Anglican Church and the Catholic Church have already accepted evolution as being true. So, what am I going to do for Darwin Day this year? I decided I would go out and buy me a 1953 dollar bill. Couldn't find a one. Apparently they didn't make ones in 1953, but they did make the five. And check it out. See anything missing? Isn't it prettier that way? As great as that was, and I love my new little uh, find here, it just wasn't enough. I found out that here in the state of Georgia there, were, there was going to be a creationism seminar. Time to go black ops. Ball bitches. Get the message. All right, so here's the deal. These guys are coming to this town to do this seminar to preach their pseudoscience over evolution and they're putting up this stuff to draw on these people who obviously anybody who would go to this thing either is going there to make fun of them or is too naive to understand the, tr the truth of the matter. After checking out the website and everything else that's going on with these guys, I'm, I'm telling you right now that, check it out, scam, scam, uh, checking out these guys, this, this guy is not uh, in any kind of way has the uh, credentials in order to even talk about evolution and yet there they are going to try and discredit it but uh, hey don't take my word for it think for yourself 